ladies and gentlemen, this is John Perkins Barrymore, your co-host of the Troy Corey Evening Show, coming to you this evening from Hollywood, the film capital of the world, where anything can happen and often does. Wait a minute. Well, uh, remember I promised you something a little special? Something very special. I'll be waiting anxiously for you. You know, I went down to Jackson, uh, Mississippi. That's right, you yeah. just got back. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. How was your trip? That well, was a good one. Welcome back to the United States. <laughs> well, they, you know, when they, 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 they say you roll, you know, they grow. You know, you know, you know, Every time they say you roll, I turn around and see who's with me. <laughs> But seriously, what you doing down in Jackson? Well, the reason I was down there, remember, I didn't get really a chance to tell you why I was going down there. Uh-huh. Probably thought I was going down in a mess around a little bit. Vacation? Really, well, I went down. My uncle died. Oh. My uncle died and, uh... How much of a vacation? He left me in his will. And he left me a trunk that I've heard about in the family for the last 35 years. And uh, I was I appeared on a television show down there, Dot Lambert Show, on the uh, CBS Network show. And we opened this trunk on her show. What was it? Was it your inheritance? My inheritance? Was your everything. inheritance what was in a trunk. trunk. What could be in a yeah. trunk? A bunch of clothes? Well, you're going to find out what's in the trunk because we're going to show some film uh, tape segments, I, I should say, from the shot right. You brought right. it with you? Yes, I brought it with me right on the television. Yeah, you opened it can you bring the contents with you? We have something very, very outstanding today, a first. I have with me Troy Curry and also Miss Ann Lynch. And Ann, we have a trunk here that is just full of history. And that the first time that this trunk has been open to the public will be done today. Now, Ann, you are, were a neighbor of Mr. Bernard Stubblefield out of Florence who passed away recently. Tell us a little bit about this man and you as a neighbor. Mr. Stubblefield had lived near us for about 15 years. He lived with his sister there up until she died uh, in 1967. And until that time, he's lived alone with a dog in his house. Uh, we took him to the grocery store, uh, took him his medicine when he could not get out and go out to get it. Uh, he was very alone. He did not like people to come in and bother him. He was an inventor himself. Mm -hmm. And at the time that I found him, um, we had to go through a lot of papers in his house in order to find a will, which I knew that he had written some several years ago. And in this will, he asked that I see that Troy get the contents of this particular trunk. Mm -hmm. So this is why Troy is here today. Now, now Troy, you are a nephew, right? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Of a Bernard and the grandson of uh, Nathan B. Stubblefield, who was the father of Bernard. All right. Okay, now. When we say Bernard and Nathan Stubblefield, some people might not know who we're talking about. Now, let's say something about who these men really were. Nathan B. Stubblefield is the uh, inventor of the radio. He's uh, the first man to send a voice wireless uh, through the air. Now, uh, Marconi he usually gets the credit for sending the first wireless uh, uh, voice, but it wasn't. He sent the Morse code, which was the dot, 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 dot. But the first one to ever send a voice or music or anything was Nathan B. Stubblefield and, uh, in Murray, Kentucky, right where the campus is established today. In fact, it's the University of Kentucky now, I think. Now, Bernard was the son. Yes. Bernard was the son, and it was Bernard's voice who was the first that went over this. Mm -hmm. He was an inventor within himself. Within he was life. an inventor within himself, mm -hmm. but he has all the papers that belong to his father. And as I understand it, no one has ever seen these papers until no his death. Let's open the trunk. The Lynch had the key to it, and uh, now we're going to open it. And this will be the first time this has been opened to the public, and I suppose very few people have ever really seen it. I've been down here three times, and he's never seen it. No, he says surprise. Wouldn't you know that? The passion might be a... Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So excited here. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's the right key. I'm here three times and he's... Is your father saying that? No, he says surprise. Wouldn't you know that? The passion mm -hmm. might be a... Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So excited here. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's the right key. Yeah. He had so many keys. <laughs> Okay, come around uh, where you can see. All right. Okay. Well, we got the seat. 
some checks here. Well, she got a bank check. Well, 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 it sounds well, well, kind well, of strange, but uh, I just don't tell people my name because they call me Stubby for short. You know, How'd you get that nickname? Hey, what else did you find in there, Troy? Well, you know, I found some exciting things. There are, you know, these just happy version. Well, I know there will be many things in here we'll find. What are these three books right here? They look like they're quite old and quite interesting. These are written by some of the relatives, Troy, of uh, Bernard's. These are the genealogy, the genealogy of your family. Mm -hmm. There's also some drawings of his inventions that you will want to uh, look at. I'm going to hold this around. Can we come and get this? This is some of the drawings here of some of the inventions. Can you see this? This is actually by his hand. Is this uh, Nathan's or is that Bernard? This is Bernard. I see. Now, I think in the will, did you not say that uh, all this is to go to Chloe, right? What, the insides of this trunk is to go to Chloe. Let's see what we have underneath here. Let's take this okay, out. Okay, I'm saying, insurance policy is too. Wait a minute. Now, I think in the will, did you not say that uh, all this is to go to Corey? It's just like, this invaluable in information. Right. Let's see what we have uh, underneath here. By my friend right. Sammy Payne, well, insurance policy. Well, when I take my sugar okay. to tea. I'm just a little Jack Horner. This is the BRH of the Big Pictures and R&B Video Production. Hi. Tune in the good times on the Troy Corey Show tomorrow night at 1130.